Hi guys, and before you watch the next video, I just wanted to mention a new thing that we've got on AJ, the player channel, the YouTube channel. So in answer to a lot of your comments, we need to invest in some new equipment and we need to get to some new places to bring you some even better content. And I thought what better way of doing that than opening up a Patreon account or Patreon account from where you are in the world. If you would like to donate and help us to get bigger and better and bring you better quality videos, then just go to the home page on AJ the Player, the YouTube page. If you're on a PC, it's very simple. I've already put the link up and you can either donate a single amount. I'm not worried even if it's a single pound. It doesn't matter. It's all going to help. Or you can do donate a regular amount as well. If you're on a, a phone or a tablet, it's slightly different. You have to just scroll across until you come to the About section. And that there will have the two links. It's got a PayPal link and the Patreon link. Guys, thanks for your support. We're doing our best to bring you the best quality videos possible. Enjoy the next video. Hi guys, welcome back to The Player and welcome back for this week's episode eight of Owners and Their Cars. And today I'm with an old friend of mine, a Mr. Bob Walton, and we're gonna knock on the door and he's apparently got something to show us. Let's find out. And here he is. Hello, Bob. Ah, and the dogs have kicked off. <laughs> Hi. On cue. Uh, hi. Social distancing and all that. Are you lost? <laughs> I'm lost. What are you doing here? <laughs> hi, mate. How hi. are you? I heard you've got something rather special you want to show me. Well, now I have, but I'm not going to show you that. But I do have something else. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like a little baby just over there. Oh, I, wow. We are car... Well, I'm a bit of a car nut. You're a car nut. Oh, you know I'm a car so, nut. So, uh, do you want mad. to come and have a look yeah, at this? Yeah, I'd love to. Come on in. Let's go and have a look. Look at this. That, if now I'm we, not mistaken, is an MG. It's an MGA. An MGA. And it's MGA. all running and getting ready all for us. All running, all warmed up, especially for you. <laughs> and wow. it's uh, 1962. Uh, we bought it in... We've called it Cherry. Wonder why? I wonder why. Well, my <laughs> wife called it Cherry, actually. My wife names all the cars. We've had Mona, Rupert, Frederick, and now we've got Cherry. I love the fact you name the cars. We name all the cars, yeah. I love uh, the white wall tires, this California look you've given it. So, did you do this? We did. Well, Andy, you can tell by my shoes, I quite like it. <laughs> I always say that <laughs> cars, are, cars need really good shoes and really good socks. There you go. And these are my shoes and socks. So you've got to Love have it. good shoes. Now, I haven't got any socks on, obviously, moment. But um, Total style. But, so what we did was we bought it online. It's a great, uh, it was really good. I was a bit concerned about it, how it all works, you know, yeah. when you do online purchasing, you know. In a, and it was called The Market. It's run from Abingdon. Was it an auction? Or? It's an auction. Oh, right. So you bid. Yeah. So we were bidding. Okay. And it was a bit nervy. Yeah, yeah. Because you're starting to go up a bit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's getting near the mark, it's like. And I'm thinking, you know, there's a few thousand pounds that we're into, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to tell you. But anyway, and um, anyway, we, we got it. And then, then you've got to go and collect it. And then you think, well, what have I, you know? And what I sent I my money to somebody somewhere. Oh. And then you, you just know, turn up and they well, go, well, there's, you, there's your and keys. And there's your keys, mate, and where you go. And was, I said, well, okay. Anyway, we drove it home and it did was it, lovely. Did it start first yeah, time? it started, yeah, yeah. And, um, it's, it and, then we, and then a very good friend of mine, uh, well, I say good friend of mine, where I have my hotel, you remember Trunkwell House, where I have my hotel. I remember Trunkwell House, Right yes. in Beach yeah. Hill, there's an MG garage. Right. So I thought, well, whatever happens, we'll be able to give it to him, and then they can look over it for us. Yeah, and he'll know what's going and on. And I can t tell me whether I bought a whole pile, or I've got a really nice, lovely MGA. And we've got a lovely MGA. You really And then have. what we wanted to do was do a little bit of, um, a bit of dazzling. Yes, because so you have a nickname, don't you? I have a nickname, yeah, yeah, And yeah. what's that nickname? <laughs> well, I have a proper name. Yes, you do have a proper name. And but... then I have a nickname, which my wife decided to call me, um, Bobby Dazzler, there's another, which is funny. Sorry, what was that? Bobby what? Uh, a Dazzler. As in, Bobby Dazzler. As in, and, and so these cooking videos, and the sun's come out, look, on perfect timing. The cooking videos are now under the Dazzler does, so I've done 108 cooking videos, which is what I do. For yes. Like, I don't just collect cars. Guys, he's, he's a bit of a chef, and if you want to have a look, is there a, how do they find out so what you, you do? So if you go onto my other name, which is Robert Wall and MBE, you will see my Instagram channel. Sorry. I know. I know. <laughs> we are in the presence of his lordship. <laughs> <laughs> then you can see my Instagram channel, which is really good fun, and I've done 108 cooking videos, and I've really enjoyed it. 
And, and I'd much prefer to talk about food than if you ask me about <laughs> cars. the car. But doesn't it go hand in hand? I, I, a lot of well-known chefs love their cars love their and their cars. watches. And I know you're a lover of watches. Yeah, you've got his watch on right. as well. Uh, yeah, so the answer to that is yes. Yeah. Uh, we do like cars and we do like watches and we like other things as well. Um, but, um, I, but the trouble is, I, I, I like, it's a bit like a salad, this. It's a bit like creating a dish. They look really pretty. And what we had to do was we had to finish it off. You know, we had to get that wonderful olive oil and drizzle it and make it look really pretty. <laughs> and, and what we didn't have was quite the right dish. So now we have the right dish. It looks gorgeous, the white walls and the but wire the, wheels. The proof's in the pudding when you get out and drive it. Does it drive as good as it looks? It drives really well when it starts. Right, <laughs> when it starts, yeah. I had a little problem earlier. I thought it's been away. You probably tell by the suntan difference between us. Um, well, so, I've been away, so nobody's driven. So he's been away for a while and this hadn't been started. And when we arrived, he was like, oh dear, can you bring some jump leads? I know, and I we know. Like, but anyway, oh. that's the wonderful thing about but old cars. She did start, didn't 1962, she? so where are we? We're six, uh, where are we? Well, it's a year We're, before I was born. We are 58, where are we, 62? So yeah, 58 years, aren't we? Um, yeah, 58, yeah, because I'm 57 this year. Well, there you are. Yeah. I know I don't look a day over 35, <laughs> but thanks, Bob. Yeah, I really appreciate that. And <laughs> so we put this on the back. So we put can, this can lovely... Look around um, the back, boys. This is amazing. We put the lovely rack on. Oh, this is a luggage rack? Yeah, luggage rack. And you can get amazing uh, luggage for it as well. So you can get a beautiful black like bespoke case. luggage. Yeah, like bespoke. I mean, they, you know, an MGA was never the most expensive of cars. And um, I just but, love it. And the, the number plate as well, a little private number plate you got on there, DXP. Uh, well, it's, it's not a private one because it's a year of, it's, 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 the, it's the original one. Oh, that's the Because the before, well, 62 was just before, was just before the A's and B's and C's came in. Gotcha. Uh, so so you do know a little bit about cars. Well, I know a bit about number plate. I've got <laughs> a few number plates around. Yeah, you've got a few number I've plates. Few. I, noticed, I collect yeah. number plates as well, believe it or not. I love this. So you added this? We added that. And we put these lovely, um, I'm just going to just give it a little blast. Maybe. Yeah, go on. I'll just give it a little blast to just keep, make sure we're going to keep going. Love that. That sounds Look. amazing. So we put these, uh, these uh, wing mirrors on as well, because it needed wing mirrors. And we put a new steering wheel in. And we're going to take the roof off in a minute, which is a great... Yeah, uh, well, we're going to get under the bonnet as well because I want to uh, have a look at the little engine. Should we have a look at that now? Why don't we uh, pause there for a sec? Sure. Guys, with the magic of editing, we'll come back to you when we've got the bonnet open. Um, but we will film Bob putting the roof down because that might be funny if he catches his fingers in it. <laughs> He's a chef. They all catch their fingers, trust me. <laughs> this is not easy, putting a roof down, let me tell you on this. <laughs> right, we'll see you in a sec after the edit. Right, so by the magic of editing, here we are under the bonnet of this lovely MGA. Um, I noticed the first thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, twin SUs. Yes. Not the Webers. How did you? Uh, <laughs> How did I know that? <laughs> well, do you know? Do you want? Shall I tell you my knowledge? Go on. This is the bonnet. I know that. <laughs> this is the engine, and it's gorgeous, and it's clean, and that was, and I, everything else is clean. I've got to say, if that's it was all, like and that's a radiator. <laughs> that's a radiator. And I don't know what that thing is, but that's really nice. I like the black thing. Oh, this bit here? Yeah, I like that's that. That's a heater. Oh, that's a heater. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. You know what? I'm almost as bad as you, because <laughs> I'll be honest, without the crew sometimes, I wouldn't have a clue what this was. And especially on some of the classics, they're far more sort of, um, not boffins, but they like to look up all these bits and pieces. So we know it's a nice little 1600 engine, that's yeah. all that really matters, because it's ticking away beautifully, isn't it? And it's it? clean and lovely, isn't it? And very tidy, you know. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's got all new you know, when we, when we, The one thing we could see when we bought it was that you could see the engine. And oh, they so, showed you that in the picture? Yeah, no, we went, you could go and view the car. So okay. although it was in lockdown, you could go, you know, you're allowed to go and view, and you could do it all social distancing and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So we could go and view it, and, and, and Donnie went to view it, because I was actually locked in for the, all my other bits and bobs, so I couldn't go out. And, um, and, uh, and we took pictures, and I said, well, look, the engine is very pretty. And so that's a good start. <laughs> and the boot was pretty, you know. The boot as well is all nice and tidy. Have you had anybody come and actually take a look over the car, like a professional Yeah, no, mechanic? I sent it to we, um, MG, uh, the MG garage in Beak Hill. 
I'll add okay, it yes, for, you mentioned they did a whole complete run through. And everything. they were quite happy with it all. And yeah, 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 yeah. No, they said, you know, look, 1962. I mean, it, it could be, yeah. there could be endless. Well, I'd had no idea about an MGA and your cameraman's father might well know is that they were all built in, in sections. Oh, okay. So the, they're none of them, they, and when, they, when you drive, they move. Because they're all in, they were all built in bits and all screwed together. Okay, so I've it's got a wick. So, I mean, so everything sort of moves as you're driving when, along. When um, I'm telling you about the 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 the, uh, the the battery, yeah. When I took the thing off to try and find the battery, you can see the ground. I mean, you know, there's like <laughs> it's like the Flintstone. You know, you love moving it, moving your feet. So they are really simple. Yeah, but they are so pretty. But it's so elegant. It's also very simple to work on these cars. I'm sure, look, you know. With my so limited nice. knowledge, being able to access hose pipes and, you know, things like yeah. the dynamo over there and the starter motor, you can't do that on a modern engine. You've no. got to take all the gubbins out, you've got to take all the plastic off. It totally ruins yeah. the whole fun of it. And, I mean, you can get to anything, can't you? I mean, the fuses yeah, yeah. and... absolutely anything. You'd probably you know. take this engine out in about 30, 40 minutes if yeah, you had to. Yeah, probably. But wonderful, But anyway... Next bit, we've got yeah. to get the roof down because okay. you and I are going out in this and we've got the perfect day for it. We've so, got a lovely day. Again, guys, we're going to do a little edit there and then we'll come back in a sec when Bob's ready to put the roof down. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so I kind of insisted that we do this on camera, Bob, didn't I? Because if, you did. if we do get our fingers this. jammed in, this yeah, is going to so, be... So we, uh, this is live. <laughs> this is live. So what we're going to do, you're going to help me. Okay. Okay, so the very first thing you have to open the door. Is the door open? The door's remember. open. Right. So we have to take these windows out. Right. So you, this is big technology. So you unscrew that bit. Yep. Okay. And then you literally lift the window out. Yep. Right. And we'll... Oh, yeah. I've got it. And we put this on the grass verge. Right. Uh, what do we do with this? Oh, screw you it. screw that back in. I mean, okay. these can, these, if you were going on a trip, you put these in the boot. Yeah, of course you would. You know, I'll just put these it's up. It's a, like, um, a bit like the Morgan that we yeah, did. Yeah, a bit like the Morgan. Guys, if you um, click up here now, we did a great video on, uh, on the Morgan. Um, check it out. It's worth watching. So Very you've got similar. to just take these off now. Okay. So, so I'll turn that, that one. Take those off. Yeah. Okay. Right. No. You've just, obviously just done... Just pull them. That's right. They'll pull. Just pull I them. mean, my, my lovely convertible Bentleys and everything else I've had, you press a button and it, and it all does. Just press pull it. Press a button. Just, Can I on. let you do that? Because I don't want to damage it, because they don't seem to be moving for me. Oh. Right. Okay. Now, <laughs> the next bit yeah. is we have, to, we have to unscrew this. There's something here you have to unscrew. And then oh, that, you just, so that comes, so we lift that. Yeah. Right. Now, leave it there. Right. Right. Now we unhook, there's a rail on the back here. So if I just bring that forward a bit, pull that off. You don't now want to do this, this in a hurry, do you? Goes up like that. Okay, do these fold right. in or? These go, they just gonna, they fold over like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, pull your seats forward. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, now, this is the fun bit. Yeah. Because what you've got to do, mind your fingers, is you've got to tuck him in there. Yeah. And somehow, this bit, goes sort of like this but mine this is the finger bit yeah so yep. you pull that. ah yeah i've got it and I've then got it. you tuck him in there so you've got to push those bits in there so you have to lift that bit up a bit lift it up a bit. a bit that's it oh there no, so you just so it just goes in a bit more so i'll come over and do that but you can see how and finger, you have to do this all on your own finger trapping it is major finger trapping. We've, we've done it so far so good with no finger trapping. We're done. Look at that. With the roof off. And now look at her. Doesn't she look pretty? Wow. Look at that dashboard as well. Isn't it amazing? Doesn't she look pretty? Oh, I love Brand it. Brand new steering wheel. Big old steering wheel. No seat belts, of course. Don't have to wear seat belts, do we? <laughs> no seat belts. So one, I'm going to get in the car with you driving, <laughs> yeah. which scares the pants off me. Yeah. Two, we haven't got any seat belts no on. No seat belts, no. Three, you're telling me this thing all moves. It all moves, yeah. It all moves as we go round. We won't be going fast. Well, before we get in it and take it away, can we have a little look in the boot? In the ah, front, in the, yeah, the you boot. You can. The trunk, for those of you in America. 
Oh, now we can't get in the boot. <laughs> yeah. Just about. Oh, no, you can. This man knows his way around his car. So, Why have you got a mallet in there? I don't know. It was in there when we bought it. You don't think this belonged to a murderer, do you? <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't so you got your little spare tire oh, right. in there. Got a spare tire. Got my and hands you can are going put, in. You can put your... Um, it's quite I nice don't know mallet. what that's in there for. It's that's, obviously for something. It's obviously for smashing someone over the head. Do you know when I thought about this morning, and I couldn't start it, of course. Yeah. You have a starting handle. Oh, my God. We Look have a that. starting handle. Oh, wow. We could have used that this morning. <laughs> I could, yes. When I looked at the front, you know. <laughs> now, anyone <laughs> under the age of 50 would have no idea what this is because no. back in the old days, we used to actually use these we to, to start, start your car, didn't when we? You, when, you, when your battery was flat. But the good thing was we couldn't play a game where you all put your keys in the fishbowl because that didn't exist then. It was only when we got the keys we could start playing that game. Well, you could put your starting handle in. You put your starting handle in there, and if you had a big one, everyone knew, didn't they? <laughs> you had a big car. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Right. I'll put that back in there. Okay, starting so, handle. Magic of editing, we're now going to jump in the car and we're going to take it for a spin and give you a bit of feedback. So hang tight a second. Right, so I love the sound of that engine. Oh, it sounds <laughs> gorgeous. I'm a little bit nervous that we haven't got any seat belts in here. I know. It's it lovely. Is cracking. So, how many gears has it got? Is it four, four. speed? Little four speed. It's yeah. good old fashioned. It's got reverse, I presume. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, listen to that. This is unbelievable, well, I'm not quite Bob. I'm sure it's, uh, it sounds like a, <laughs> like a Porsche Turbo or anything like that. Oh, but wow. It's, uh, it's really nice. It's a lovely area around here. It is stunning, isn't it? Is that the River Thames? River Thames, yeah. Fantastic. What a beautiful place to come and film a car. What a lovely place, I think yeah. I shall remember this one. And there's the weir. And this is, the, this is now, uh, used to be the Swan. It used to be owned by Danny LaRue once upon a time. Danny LaRue? Danny LaRue, you remember that? I do remember that man's yeah. name, yes. Years ago. People walking their dogs and everybody looking at I this know. lovely car. I think we should turn around and go back, don't you? Know, just go round. Yeah, it? cool. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, as you put, I look at a smile <laughs> on my face. So they, This is like smiles per minute. That's what this it's, is worth. It's fun, isn't it? It is beautiful. So I'm not quite but, sure we'll go around here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you don't need a reversing camera for this, do you? Uh, no. Oh, it goes in reverse. I love the way the fuel gauge goes up and down. I you? know, I know. <laughs> we have no idea how much fuel it's got. Are you serious? Well, so we, we could we, run out. No, we won't run out because it's got something, because it's obviously moving around a bit. Yeah, it's moving. And of course, there's no power <laughs> steering here, of course. No, I noticed that. You've got to have proper racing driver's arms, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, proper, yeah. And it's a big lump of steering wheel. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge, isn't it? But it's quite I'm pretty. surprised. You just about get your thighs underneath. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> but it's really quite, also, when you're in it, it's really quite comfortable, isn't it? Oh, this is lovely. I mean, I mean you feel quite cosy. Yeah. You know, it's like a couple of bits of, like, a sardine can. This is absolutely amazing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I've not had so much fun in years. This is just brilliant. <laughs> I want one. I really want one. I think it's also the fact that we got the roof down, haven't we? Yeah, so it's lovely. It's, um, in a, you know, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely area. <laughs> There's the boring lot. So if you go there, you go down to Oxford, down that way. Ah, it's really wonderful, Bob. So you're, you're obviously very happy that you purchased this yeah, car. Yeah, it makes you smile, doesn't it? Yeah. And we're in a weird time, you know? Yeah, I know, and, we're in a very uh, strange time. A strange time, and you just need things to make you happy. Now, this would definitely make me happy. And you can either go and buy... But I've got a know, big question, sorry to interrupt. I've got a massive question that's come in my head. Go on, then. Um, do you let the wife drive it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's very Oh, you much. do? Oh, gosh, yeah. yeah that's we just, brilliant. We've just managed to um, get the... Oh, as Johnny <laughs> says, yeah. It, you'll find it in a minute. You'll find, you'll it, find in it in a minute. <laughs> but first, it really don't need to go into first, but you know, you've still got that um, tendency to go into first, but you don't need to go into first at all, because second, because it's very, um, what's that? Talky. You know, talky, that's the yep. word, yeah. So we're going to turn around again here, yeah, aren't actually, we? Actually, we'll go up here. We'll go oh, we're going all the way around here. We'll it's around so lovely, this little area. Pretty? I've never seen anything like it. So this is Goring and Streetly, and Goring is, uh, you know, very famous little town on the River Thames. Yeah, I've never heard of this. But actually, you know, unfortunately, Goring was famous for poor old George Michael. He lived in he lived in the oh house the singer here. George and Michael. That's where he yeah. Yeah, where he, he unfortunately passed away on Christmas oh. Day, and we were and we go to the little church. I always go to that church on 
we have our um, midnight mass we always yeah, yeah. go to. And, um, whoops, <laughs> hello. There's people hello. even stopping to talk to us now. <laughs> this is wonderful. How are we, all right? Hi there. Yeah, we've got a 1934 what? A 1934 what? See, this is what happens, oh, guys. You? you get out in the car oh, like this, people want to talk to you, you know? And now Bob's like, I mean, he's well, a local I... celeb, but... Isn't it lovely, see? <laughs> now, you wouldn't do that in any other car, lovely. would you? thank you. See, where would you get that? If you were driving around in a Nissan Duke, for example, yeah, yeah. no one's going to stop and talk to you, are they? I know you're the local celeb, but... Well, I don't know about that. I think the car's a celeb. I remember once when I took... I had a wonderful, lovely old Bentley uh, convertible uh, called a Continental, and we parked it outside the casino in Monaco. As you do. I had my son with me. <laughs> As we do, yeah, and um, and when we came back, everyone was around my car, and it was amazing. And Callum said to me, "Dad, you know who the star is? The, the car." car. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with me. I'm in exactly. exactly the same situation. But isn't it lovely when people stop and have a chat? Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying when you wave, were chatting to the guy. Yeah, know, and people wave and say, "Oh, people I love just your car. appreciate cars like this," you know. People don't look at if you had a super sports car coming through yeah. here with it all banging and shouting. No, no. They don't. Oh, look at that idiot. They <laughs> show off. But in this car, it's like, what a bit of class. And we want to, we're doing 20 miles an hour through this beautiful little town or village. Feels a lot faster, doesn't it? It does actually. Really does. You know, you're sort of fairly low to the ground. Yeah, you're low to the ground and the smell of the engine and you're just never going to get this when we get back to. Uh, oh, here we are. We're pulling over. Oh, do you want me to um, pull here? Or do you want me yeah, to no, pulling over here is fine. Guys, we're going to stop there. We're going to do a little bit of uh, road sort of uh, video for you, and then we're going to head back and do our little last piece to camera with, with Sir Bobby here. <laughs> so we'll catch you in a second. Tell you what mate that was absolutely fantastic thank you so much i have thoroughly enjoyed being it's in fun, that isn't little it? car we've had a lovely time and the weather's yeah. nice and it's gorgeous countryside i mean it's just started to cloud over a little bit but yeah. none that you know it hasn't bothered us has it and no, it's it's lovely it's been lovely thank you so much for oh, thank coming you. out and yeah, yeah. sharing time we love our uh, this little car and um i know i've fallen in love with it i know i just want to come here every weekend and, wasn't and that go lovely when we were just driving around <sighs> goring and somebody stops and wants to talk about the car stunning it? yeah it's lovely so what's what's coming up for you you've i know you've got your new thing you're doing with the the chef stuff right um, so there's a lot i mean if you i haven't got I haven't got too much time but guys, anyway if you need a pillow go and grab one now <laughs> he does have a habit of just going on a little bit so we have I'm only joking. Um, the most amazing competition happening very soon which is young chef young waiter yeah and we now have the world brand on it so we have china China, and we have Southeast Asia and we have South Asia and we have Ireland and we have the UK so young chef young waiter now world and when I great. met you this hadn't even really started had well it had been going but it had been mothballed and so now yeah. that's something and look what and you've then, done with it it's amazing I know and then and the nth degree of course is yeah. the is the facilitator is the connector of everything yeah and then we have the Michelin revelation which would be amazing which is the revealing of the new Michelin stars which is the event that I run and I'm yeah. very excited about that which happens in the beginning of 2021 because everything's been pushed back. I've got to ask, with all the COVID thing going on, I mean, your world has just been turned upside down, hasn't it? It has. Uh, London is suffering uh, a lot at the moment. Right. Uh, there's no choice about it. But the Eat Out to Help Out was very, very good. Yeah. That really worked really, really well. 
the uh, and the country venues. You saw that venue in Goring is packed. Oh yeah, I mean absolutely. You know, yeah. So the country venue is very good. It, but it's been tough, isn't it? No two ways about it. Hospitality, but you know the government have really looked after hospitality very well. I, I'm not. I'm a, I can only speak for my yeah. industry, my sector. You know. Well, that but eat out to help out thing. Eat out to help out, 5% VAT, you know, and really yeah. pushing hospitality has been absolutely great. Was so, that just in the UK? Because I don't think, other, I haven't heard people Yeah, from other well, countries. other countries, other European countries have done, I mean, Italy gave everyone a £20 voucher or whatever it oh, was. Did they? It, yeah, and I mean, you know, well, there are lots of other schemes. a bowl of pasta, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, there were lots of other <laughs> schemes. So, um, and, no, then, and then running through the rest of next year, we have, in fact, one of the really exciting parts of, of what I've been doing online of all the cooking. Yeah is that um, we are going to start bringing chefs to my house to cook. And the very first one is my dear friend, who is also, a, a loves cars, is a guy called Claude Bosey. Claude Bosey has the Michelin building, or yeah, runs, yeah, runs Bosey, the Bendham. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and he's going to come, and he's a two-star two, two -star Michelin chef. Yep. He's going to come and cook at my house with me. Wow. I mean, how crazy is that? That is mad. So that, I love it. I that, love it. That is really, really... But you uh, know quite a few well-known chefs, don't you? Because I know that's your world. It's... I Been know probably world. more more well known chefs than anyone else yeah. uh, on the planet. That was the other thing. Yeah. <laughs> because I have made it a part of my life. You yeah. know, my life is hospitality, my life is food, my life is cooking. Yeah. And my life is is all of them. And it's a way of life. It's not a job, you know, it's no, a way sure. of life and I love it. And so yeah, I, there are my some of the best chefs in the world are my best friends, you know, mm. and so um, I, lo I love the way you just nonchalantly talk about them. When oh, I played golf with so and so the other day, and I'm like, Bob, yeah, you know, this is amazing, and, and now I know. Cool well, Boosie is coming around your house to cook. I know and stuff like that, that I'm really chuffed about because these are also people that I really respect and admire, of course, yeah, in their lovely. talents are beyond belief uh, today. Yeah, uh, and my interviewing that I did on my Instagram channel, you know, was also really interesting because I got to be able to talk to the chefs like we're talking about what where did they find their love of food yeah you know I was talking with Ainsley Harriet the other day on on, a, on, a, on it's going to be on my Instagram channel which it is on my Instagram channel now and um about the love of food and where he started and where it all came from and everything so everyone has a separate story they've all know. got their own stories yeah, like you because yeah. you started as a chef didn't well you? I am a chef you yeah. know and I sort of feel like I can say now I'm a chef again I mean I've never not been a chef do but, you remember a time you and I were in a certain place and someone put you to the test? Oh, in Monaco. You know exactly back to where Monaco I'm again. So we go back to Monaco here, guys. A long time ago, when Bob and I were the early days of nth degree. Yeah, wasn't it? yeah, 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 yeah. And there was a certain gentleman who was with us, and he would not believe that he was a chef. So he said, "If you can cook, yeah, show me now." And yeah. Bob and we were in a restaurant. Crepes Suzettes. He wanted me. Yeah. He, he said, said, "I said, well, I'll cook crepes Suzettes. It's okay." Tell, him, tell them the story quickly. Cause... Well, I mean, apart from the fact they brought a fire extinguisher out, thinking I was going to set the place on fire, not realising that I could actually cook crepes Suzettes. And you flambéed them. I flambéed them, and we had a packed restaurant way before social distancing. There was a, some Bernard over here and something. Oh, I it remember was a classic, the dogs everywhere, yeah. Classic Monogas, Monogas restaurant where yeah. it was a tiny restaurant. Anyway, and I and and uh, what happened? The whole restaurant started watching, and I did my crepes. There, it's a big flambe, and everyone clapped. Everyone was cheering and clapping, <laughs> and this guy, I so can't I remember. It. Well, I do know he'll remain nameless because yeah, yeah. he's, he's well known. But he he was so like just shut him. He shut him down yeah, just yeah, like yeah. that. Bang! Yeah. There you go. I did it. Eat it. Enjoy it. And it was it tasted wonderful. Well, I have no problem in cooking because that's my world. Yeah. And when anyone and I did it for so long. And finding this love and my passion for food and produce again through this period has been yeah. an incredible bonus for me in, in, in what has been a very strange time. So I'm very happy about that. This has just been a lovely experience. As always, whenever I see you, it's a wonderful experience. We've got a car coming yeah. along now, okay, so we might cheers. have to move out. We'll go cheers, but I need to finalise right. this for you guys. Once this car's gone past here, we'll just step out of the way for a second because we've stopped filming. It's not their fault. We're standing in the middle of a road in the middle of the country. So what do you expect? I don't know where they're going, it's a dead end. <laughs> First of all, www.nthdegree.co.com or .co.uk. Well, it's, it's now nth, nth Global, so Nth Degree Global. Nth de right, guys, watch here. Ready? I'm going to put it up for you now if you want to know more about yeah. Bob and what nth he does. Nth Degree Global is... It's the, coming is in now, there. Nth brand new degree. website as well, it looks amazing. 
check it out guys, Nth Degree Global, there you go. And that will tell you everything about what Bob does and his whole world. It's so interesting, yeah. it's unbelievable. As far as me, well you know me, AJ the player, thank you for watching, I really appreciate today and being with Bob. It's uh, www.theplayer.co.uk, let me pull it in properly. There we go. Very there. good. I'm going to do that. You like, like that? You want any fancy like doing that? that? I'm going to do that. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got a mad horse in the background getting really excited as well. It doesn't get any more country. Um, if, if you like what you're watching, don't forget this is episode eight in Owners and Their Cars. Uh, we do hundreds of other videos, uh, so like, subscribe and comment. And also, as I always say, we are part of a bigger show, a much bigger show. We're part of The Player, and The Player is a 200-page bookazine that comes out every three months that you can get your hands on digitally, not in the flesh, so to speak. If you are a subscriber of The Player channel, uh, the AJ The Player YouTube channel, you can automatically get your free copy, online copy of The Player, and you just go to where we went earlier, www.theplayer.co.uk. You must have an email, stick your email in, that gives you access to all of our bookazines. Um, that just rounds me up and leads me to say thanks again Bob you are a top man guys thanks for watching I'll catch you next week with another car or another interesting human being who knows bye <laughs> <laughs>